Shalom. Jubilees chapter 2. And the angel of the presence spoke to Moshe according to the word of Yehovah, saying, Write the complete history of the creation, how in six days Yehovah Elohim finished all his works and all that he created, and kept Shabbat on the seventh day, and sanctified it for all ages, and appointed it as a sign for all his works. From the first day, he created the heavens, which are above, and the earth, and the waters, and all the Ruach Koth, which serve before him the angels of the presence, and the angels of sanctification, and the angels of the Ruach of fire, and the angels of the Ruach of the winds, and the angels of the Ruach of the clouds, and of darkness, and of snow, and of hail, and of hoar frost, frost, and the angels of the voices, and of the thunder, and of the lightning of the Rechov of cold and of heat and of winter and of spring and of autumn and of summer and of all the Rechov of his creatures which are in the heavens and on the earth. He created the abysses and the darkness, evening and night, and the light, dawn and day, which he has prepared in the knowledge of his heart, and thereupon we saw his works, and praised him, and lauded before him, on account of all his works, for seven great works did he create on the first day. And on the second day he created the expanse in the midst of the waters, waters, and the waters were divided on that day. Half of them went up above, and half of them went down below the expanse that was in the midst over the face of the whole earth. And this was the only work Elohim created on the second day. And on the third day he commanded the waters to pass from off the face of the whole earth into one place, and the dry land to appear. And the waters did so as he commanded them, and they retired from off the face of the earth to one place outside of this expanse, and the dry land appeared, and on that day he created for them all the seas, according to their separate gathering, places, and all the rivers, and all the gathering, gatherings of the waters, and the mountains, and on all the earth, and all the lakes, and all the dew of the earth and the seed which is sown, and all sprouting things, and fruit-bearing trees, and trees of the wood, and the garden of Eden, in Eden and all. These four great works Elohim created on the third day, and on the fourth day he created the sun and the moon and the stars, and set them in the expanse of the heaven, to give light upon all the earth, and to rule over the day and the night, and of 
divide the light from the darkness. And Elohim appointed the sun to be a great sign on the earth for days and for Shabbatoth, and for months and for feasts and for years, and for Shabbatoth of years, and for jubilees and for all seasons of the years. And it divides the light from the darkness and for prosperity that all things may prosper, which shoot and grow on the earth. These three kinds he made on the fourth day. And on the fifth day he created great sea monsters in the depths of the waters, for, they, for these were the first things of flesh that were created by his hands, the fish, and everything that moves in the waters, and everything that flies, the birds, and all their kind. And the sun rose above them to prosper them, and above everything that was on the earth, everything that shoots out of the earth, and all fruit-bearing trees and all flesh. These three kinds he created on the fifth day, and on the sixth day he created all the animals of the earth, and all cattle, and everything that moves on the earth. And after all this he created man, a man and a woman, created he them, and gave him dominion over all that is upon the earth, and in the seas, and over everything that flies, and over beasts, and over cattle, and over every thing that moves on the earth and over the whole earth, and over all this he gave him dominion, and these four kinds he created on the sixth day, and there were altogether two and twenty kinds, and he finished all his work on the sixth day all that is in the heavens and on the earth and in the seas and in the abysses and in the light and in the darkness and in everything and he gave us a great sign the Shabbat Shabbat that we should work six days but God the Shabbat on the seventh day from our work and all the angels of the presence, and all the angels of sanctification, these two great classes he has hidden us to God. He has bidden us to God, the Shabbat with him in heaven and on earth. And he said unto us, Behold, I will separate him I will separate unto myself a people from among all the peoples, and they shall guard the Shabbat, and I will sanctify them unto myself as my people, and will bless them as I have sanctified the Shabbat, and do sanctify it unto myself. Even so will I bless them, and they shall be my people. And I will be their Elohim. And I have chosen the seed of Yaakov from amongst all that I have seen, and have written him down as my firstborn son, and have sanctified him unto myself forever and ever. And I will teach them the Shabbat, that they may guard the Shabbat thereon from all work. And thus he created therein a sign in accordance with which they should guard the Shabbat with us on the seventh day to eat and to drink and to bless him who has created all things as he has blessed and sanctified unto himself a peculiar people above all peoples and that they should guard the Shabbat together with us and he caused his commands to 
ascend as a sweet savor, acceptable before him all the days. There were two and twenty heads of mankind, from Adam to Yaakov, and two and twenty kinds of work were made until the seventh day. This is blessed and holy, and the former also is blessed and holy, and this serves with that one for sanctification and blessing. And to him, and, and to this, Yaakov and his seed, it was granted that they should always be the blessed and Kodeshim of the first testimony and Torah, even as he had sanctified and blessed the Shabbat on the seventh day. He created heaven and earth and everything that he created in six days, and Elohim made the seventh day holy for his works. Therefore he commanded on its behalf that whomsoever does any work thereon shall die, and that he who defiles it shall surely die. Wherefore do you command the children of Israel to observe this day, that they may keep it holy and not do thereon any work? not to defile it, as it is holier than all other days, and whosoever profanes it shall surely die, and whosoever does thereon any work shall surely die eternally. Ah! die eternally, that the, the children of Israel may observe this day throughout the generations, and not be rooted out of the land, for it is a holy day and a blessed day, and everyone who observes it and God's Shabbat thereon from all his work, will be holy and blessed throughout all days, like unto us. And declare and say to the children of Israel the Torah of this day, both that they should guard the Shabbat thereon, and that they should not forsake it in the hour of their hearts, and that it is against the Torah to do any work thereon, which is unseemly to do thereon their own pleasure, and that they should not prepare thereon anything to be eaten or drunk, and that it is against the Torah to draw water, or bring in or take out thereof, through the gates any burden which they had not prepared for themselves on the sixth day, and the dwellings, and they shall not bring in nor take out from house to house on that day, for that day is more holy and blessed than any jubilee day of the jubilees. On this we kept Shabbat in the heavens before it was made known to any flesh to guard the Shabbat thereon upon the earth. And the creator of all things blessed it, but he did not sanctify all people and nations to guard the Shabbat thereon, but Israel alone, them alone he permitted to eat and drink, and to guard the Shabbat thereon on the earth. And the Creator of all things blessed this day, which he had created for blessing and holiness, and a glory above all days. The Torah, this Torah and testimony was given to the children of Israel, as a Torah forever unto the generations.